chips on bigger of the waves are skimming there and summits to the verdant plains each horizon is a new beginning rise and rain philippians chapter 2 verse 5 through 8 kjv let this mind be in you which was also in christ jesus who being in the form of god thought it not robbery to be equal with god but made himself of no reputation and took it and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man he humbled himself and became obedient unto death even the death of the cross hello fellow wish shapers we were here no me she's back with another shame video super 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 excited for you or super super excited for the shape <laughs> so my wife and my two daughters got me an amazing amazing father's day gift for me i, I probably will put make it the thumbnail of the video but um, i'm gonna go ahead and open it in front of you guys um it's a, been a bucket list item basically since i started my channel so this is super super special to me this shave might the shave video might be a little bit longer than my normal 20 minutes we'll see how it goes here's the box uh let's see here if you guys can see that yes that's what it is All right i wanted to do i wanted to do an unboxing for you guys but uh i just got way too excited hopefully i get no drops of water on the paperwork and stuff but i'll just show you everything that was in the box All right it's a i think they call this palomino wood I'm trying to be careful it's got a little circle there to show you where the top is it comes off there's the uh the stamping yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the right side up, or that's what we got. Okay. <clears throat> First off, it came like this. Just uh, first off, a little paper that came with. I'm gonna cover up the uh, barcodes there so it doesn't turn off the camera. Yep. little uh, bubble wrap to kind of keep everything pushed down. All right. Nice felt background or um, bottom. Came in this guy. Nice little holder for it. Just being super, super careful, trying not to rush, but it's just a folded paper. And it came in this, I believe this is an anti-rust paper. I hope it is. Oh, I'll show you the... And there's this guy here, right? I can't read it. I know I can look up a translation online somewhere. Maybe I'll do that some other time. But yeah, I'm super, super, super stoked about this, guys. Super stoked. But yeah, this is anti-rust paper. There's English writing on it that says anti-rust paper. Try to be very careful to drop it or push the edge against the paper. But here it is. An Iwasaki Kamasori. Bucket list item. Um, I have it. I sterilized it with some alcohol. Oh, the workmanship is just incredible. This has the factory edge on it. Um, it's supposed to be honed on um, Japanese natural. And I think they put it to a, a pasted strop. Um, that's just from a video that I saw on, on the interwebs. But yeah, this is the medium, which I think is a 50 mm edge. Um, beautiful, beautiful craftsmanship. All right, I'm going to set this down. Uh, I'm going to go lather up. I have a couple backups just in case the edge isn't quite ready. And then if, if we have to go that route, I'll let you know about those two. But I'm going to go ahead and set this down. What are we doing using for the rest of the hardware? Using an Omega Parasso board brush that I have not used in quite some time. There's the Omega logo. A coworker of mine actually got this in Italy. So pretty cool. And using one of my absolute, absolute favorite, favorite, favorite sterling scents. This is Sterling Varen. Uh, this was made for a Dutch shaving group, I believe. And then luckily he was able to bring it over to the US. 
beautiful, beautiful scent. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful. And this is mutton tallow. Right. I think I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to drop a video in while, you know, while I'm doing the lathering up process. You guys can watch a video on how these are made. So uh, I will be right back. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> Let's see how this bad boy works out. So as you can see, it's a pretty good lather. Let me just run this under water real quick. First use, my friends, first use. It's okay. Oh, as you can tell, I have a lot of growth. Um, I didn't shave the whole time in Mexico. Oh, and those of you who wished me to have a really, really good time in Mexico, thank you. I had a really, really good time in Mexico. Not bad. Oh, I got myself. Dang, the tip. It's 
pretty sharp. Not bad at all. This is where it gets a little tricky. Got a pretty good edge on it. Um, decent factory bevel for sure. It's always a problem with me. Factory bevels are tough. Now, as you guys can see, it's, it's an asymmetrical grind, um, but it's not as steep as my other commissory. So hopefully, when I use it with the other hand, it's a little bit better. tricky so I've been <clears throat> yesterday I spent the day working on my older commissory that I have just to kind of practice honing so that in just in case this this, this factory edge wasn't good enough I could you know just kind of take it to the stones and do a little little refresh on it oh it got me good myself right here too. Shit. This this is gonna take some learning for sure. Nice. Very nice. And then um I also um The razor that I used in my last shade video, I actually took it to my other JNAT and I finished it up with a coma and then a tomo slurry just to see if the two, just to see if I can feel a difference between the two stones that I have. Well, factory bevel is pretty good. Pretty good. All right, let's see how it goes. Let's see here. Damn. All right, it's gonna be a little bit tricky this part. Obviously, the handle is not wrapped. It's got a nice little, it's not slick at all. Right, let's see here. If you don't know, pamasuris are supposed to be used by the right hand only. That's a traditional way, <clears throat> but they're also used by barbers, you know, to shave someone else. So, um, yeah. Let's see. It's awkward compared to like my um, shave at commissary. It's a little bit, little bit awkward. I'm not sure why. <laughs> That's pretty pretty awkward. No, excuse me. No trouble with the with the growth though.
guess I'm taking it easy. My uh, sink is a mess. Man, this is actually pretty good. Um, not bad, not bad at all. Let's see if I can't. Right. I think against the green might be okay. Looks like I'm not going to have to use my backup razors, which is good. I have a DE, just in case. And another straight. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, let's see here. It's a little bit tricky to hold, like I said. Hmm. That's why it's a little bit awkward because it's thinner here, whereas my shave vats are wider, so a little bit easier to grip. Oh, it's awkward, really awkward. We'll do it that way. Not bad against the grain, not great. Yeah, not great. But good enough. Like I said, the best factory bevel yet.
if you're curious where I got this from, basically it's the cheapest I found it in the U.S. Um, it's Burnell Cutlery out of San Francisco. They have two sizes. They have the small one and the medium. Um, kind of sucks I had to pay shipping and tax, but I mean, it is what it is. This is really fun to use though. Oh, I didn't even strop it. So that's actually still pretty impressive. I didn't even strop it. So let's see here. How am I gonna do this? Do it like this. Nope. <laughs> do it like this. Not bad, not bad, my friends. I can't clean it up a little bit right here. I think I did. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, I was a little close there. All right, that's it. I dried this thing off. To a paper towel in a bit, and I'll strop it and see how it goes. All right, let me rinse off. Cold water. Not bad. Right. Actually, that's a pretty good, pretty good video there. Not too bad. I got a drop of water on the um anti-rust paper it's okay just had to let it dry <laughs> all right let me do a, a quick wrap up all right uh oh my backups was this guy my gillette long gillette gillette new long comb i forgot what blade is in there then i brought this guy back up back out i have to i have to uh tighten up the pin that all right let me uh quick little recap on uh, what i used okay sterling's varin uh fantastic scent if you guys have a chance to get it you have to pick it up beautiful beautiful mutton tallow great great post shave feel not drying beautiful beautiful greenish scent is fantastic this is the uh parasso boar brush made by omega i think it's is it the the 60 it doesn't say on the bottom here but but yeah i, I love this handle um if i had uh, if i was ever going to get a custom ha handle done it'd be a shape like this i, I like it it's, i don't like a chubby handle it's too short but this 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 fits in my hand really really nice i just wish this knot was more dense kind of like the uh the zenith that would be pretty sweet and then the real star of the shave iwasaki kamasori um yeah hopefully if i remember i put i inserted that video while i was do while i was leathering up so i hope you guys enjoyed that you know the tip on these is muted can you see <laughs> but it's
is still coming. <laughs> That's my shave, everybody. That was the, um, what's the, the word? Um, the Maiden Shave. Not the Maiden Voyage, but the Maiden Shave with that razor. That was the first one. Um, Factory Bevel was fantastic. Before I bought it, I contacted Burnell Cutlery and I asked them, is it the Factory Bevel or do you guys actually hone it? And they said, nope, it's all factory, so you guys can trust that. Um, you guys can probably get it through JNS, um, Jap Japanese Natural Stones. Um, it was about the same price in, in um, US dollars, but then you would have to you know, risk the shipping time or whatever. I've, I've never ordered from them, so I can't comment on the shipping time, but other people say it's been pretty decent, so who knows? So those are the two options that you have for the 50 ml or 50 mm size razor. <clears throat> Thanks again for joining me, everybody. Glad this video wasn't too long. Um, got a couple of leaks, but looks like they're closing up. So that's great news. Tomorrow is my daughter's birthday. Uh, so we're going to have a, a really awesome dinner. And that's why I had to shave today. <laughs> Take care of yourself, everybody. And thanks for joining me. I hope you lasted this long. And as always, remember, God bless each and every one of you. And remember, do not text and drive. God bless.